Welcome back to Resident Evil Revelations 2. Let's continue on. We just escaped the... Whatever that place was. Herbs. I bet you there's a jewel in a tree that I need to shoot or something. I really feel of two minds about the jewels and the secrets. On one hand, I kind of want to look for them. On the other hand, I kind of don't care. Claire, look! Over there! A radio tower. Maybe we can send an SOS. All right, let's try this again. Actually, I have no idea how it works. I thought maybe the sound mattered, but I don't think it does. If you move slowly, it always makes the same sound, no matter where you are. It's just the speed that you move it at that changes. So I guess without the vibration thing, I have almost no way of telling. Other than to try to sort of circle, like try to figure out where the edge of the circle is based on where the red appears. I think that's my best, best thing I can do. It's a little hole there, though. Oh, come on, we could fit in there. See, you can do it. you, Hollywood. That wasn't even close to easy. Listen, Moira, I'm really sorry. I don't know what I got you mixed up in. Mary will never forgive me. This isn't your fault. Also, Barry can kiss my ass. The guy bitches and moans and granny swears about everything. Firing rate level one. Quick load. Ooh, that'd be especially good for the shotgun, because it's got a slow... Well, I'm not sure about the fire rate. The fire rate's pretty good, I think, but it's very slow to reload. Yeah, so let's give that reload speed. And let's give my pistol a firing rate. Oh, pistol can take a lot more upgrades. Five instead of three like the shotgun. Looks like there's nothing around here. Like a hidden jewel? Hmm? So? No, it's dead. You stay here. I'm gonna go check it out. Right. 
Is anyone picking this up? My name is Moira Burton. My co-workers and I were taken here against our will. I don't know where. We have these fucked up bracelets, and this crazy woman is talking to us. Some kind of monsters have killed the others. Please, send help. Please! Shit! Oh, one more time. My name is Moira Burton. <laughs> oh, God. What is this place? Record achieved, can opener, episode one, unlock concept art number one. Got 2800 BPs, BPs 1.4 times, I don't know what any of this means. Also I got one out of eight of these, does that mean, is that the total amount for like the entire game or is that for the chapter? If it's for the chapter then wow I missed so many. I don't know how this works. I have no idea how Resident Evil works. Good accuracy. Good number of retries, clear time is... Eh. Eh. It's alright. Use the bonus points obtained during the campaign to acquire skills from the skill settings menu. Okay. Oh my god. There's a skill tree. <laughs> of course there's a skill tree. <laughs> Why wouldn't there be? Increase the firepower of sub-weapons. Eh, no thanks. Less time to use a green herb. I mean, it's super cheap. Crouch power. Increases firepower while crouching. That's weird. Increases firepower for the first shot after changing weapons. That's also weird. Increase the attack of Moira's crowbar. Increases Natalie's attack power with the brick make it easier for her to stun enemies. Or, not Natalie, Natalia. Who's Natalia? Huh. Well, get this one. So do I just need one point in each to move on to the next one? Let's see, so this one does more damage when you're crouched. Damage is the one I'm looking at as the most good one. Um, gain the ability to attack with the knife while dashing. Level 2 double attack power after running 5 meters. Triple attack power after running 10 meters. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Claire and Barry become able to perform a follow-up. Ah, so that'd be like after they stun him on the ground, like, stomp him, I guess? Well, I don't see any that just straight across the board increase your attack damage. Although I haven't looked over here. Uh, but I'm gonna go... Uh, I'm gonna go for evade. Enemy attacks miss more easily during evasion. So duration increases with each level. So it sounds like your... Uh, what's it called? Your invincibility frames. Like your invincibility window gets longer, I think. Let's try that. So we gotta get this one first. Gain momentary invincibility upon crouching. That's... weird. Does that mean I should crouch to avoid an attack? Like, what? I, I guess I'll try it. <laughs> we'll see. Increase firepower while crouching. Let's get that too. Yeah, so I don't, I don't think we're going to the next episode. I think we're just going to another section. Yeah.
gruff-voiced, bearded, middle-aged man looking for his daughter. Bracelet's red. That means she's mutated, right? Or mutating. Now you stay by the boat, little lady. I mean it. I've got some grown-up stuff to attend to, but I'll come back for you later, okay? No, 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 no. It's too dangerous for you to come along. I'm not gonna be any safer here. <sighs> Is there a little girl on this planet that will listen to me? All right, stay close. You're with me now. Come on. She's really my partner? Oh, this could become a problem. Alright, so what are we looking at? Oh, he is outfitted. Samurai Edge. It's my pistol. Got a Magnum. And an assault rifle. The radio tower. That's gotta be it. What are you doing all alone? Where are your parents? I don't have any parents. And I don't know why I'm here. I just am. She got you just like she got my baby. Can we not go along the wall there? Ooh, I see a barrel. Do I have a knife? Yes. Oh, and I've got my own flashlight. Oh, I love this. You're not scared of me? No. You're all right. Watch out! What's your name, sweetie? Natalia. Wow, what a pretty name. My name's Barry. Barry? That's right, don't wear it out. <clears throat> These bugs okay? I won't. Poor things don't know how to pathfind. Looks like this is the only way through. What a well detailed and interesting room. Uh, 
Ah, I see a red herb. I think that's what you combine with the green ones to make it more powerful. Items marked with a plus can be combined with other items. Select them from the item screen or combine from the combination screen. <laughs> okay. Hmm. So I can't focus my flashlight like I can with Moira. So I guess that mechanic is like specific to them. Oh, it doesn't make a like more powerful herb. It actually just gives you like double herbs or something. So you only have one type of healing item, which is good because there's only one quick healing button. I like the simplicity of that. The monsters. Monsters? Infected the brief mentioned. Those are awfully different from the ones that uh, Claire and Moira encountered. These look more like traditional zombies. The other ones look more like. Uh, I don't know. Something else. sort of see them. Natalia has the ability to sense the location of enemies. By crouching with control, she can increase the range of her awareness. And while crouching, Natalia can move without making a sound, making it harder for enemies to find her. Natalia can also find hidden items by pointing at them with right click. Okay, so no flashlight mechanic. There's something ahead. Be careful. Oh no, you don't, young lady. It's too dangerous. Why? I'm not scared. So no flashlight, but I can still find items. <laughs> There's something ahead. Be careful. It's cute. I can just point at stuff. Poke, poke, poke. There's something ahead. Be careful. I wonder if I can point them out as Natalia and pick them up as... I think his name's Barry. Oh, I can't switch back? Okay. You just let me handle this one. Stealth attack. <laughs> yep, you can pick him up as Barry. Got a topaz. Hundred bips. I was able to stealth kill all of them, starting with the one in the middle, and then the one in front, and then the one in back. Okay. Do 
you have to be pointing to see the flashes? No. Where was it? See where they are. One in there. Three over there. Follow me. Right. Just stay there. Oh, okay. oh, that's a shout. Didn't know giving commands would be to shout. Can you not whisper? So there's no way to tell your other partner, your partner, to stay put without yelling. That's a bummer. I guess I'll just let her follow me. Well, I mean, now she's staying put. Come on. Follow me. Right. You know what's really strange about the controls in this game, too, is that E and F are two separate functions, and I don't know why they're separate. Like, to open the drawer and open doors and stuff is E, but to pick up items is F. I don't understand why they're not just the same button. Aggravated. <laughs> it looks so silly. There's also lots of alternate controls, alternative controls that it doesn't tell you about. It says F to pick this up, but you can also just left click. What is that box for? I guess to, oh, it's to get up there, isn't it? I don't know, it doesn't look like a very strong box. Can you make it? Yeah. Natalie's abilities, I'm guessing. Oh, Christ. Uh. Oh, there's a brick. Monsters coming! 
Did I kill it? <laughs> oh. oh my god. Okay, all clear. You're braver than me. Gunpowder. Actually, you know what? I I don't think I need to press E or F to do anything. I think I can just left click everything. Uh, bye. Back here. Yeah, so we kind of explore the same locations, I guess. In the same chapter. Don't think I have anything to upgrade, do I? No. Oh, let's take a look at the firepowers. Whew! The Magnum is a firepower 700. That's equivalent to the upgraded shotgun. Highly versatile, easy to customize, ammo is scarce. Yeah, definitely one you want to save for big enemies. Or bosses or something. Looks like the assault rifle's 85 damage compared to the pistol's 100, so it's a little bit weaker per bullet. Um, I have the control room key. Where's, where's the control room? Better find some way to stop it. Hmm. Control room probably can stop it. <laughs> this is just going in a circle, though, isn't it? Perhaps I should look at the minimap. I see a thingy here on the map. Oh, that's just that's just the crafting table, isn't it? It's also glowing things on the map, and I have no idea what they mean. Ah, oh, we haven't gone this way. Go. Control room. Ah, uh, it is the keys for the other side. There's something ahead. Be careful. Careful. There's something on the floor. Oh. I noticed the one pulsating in the distance. I didn't see that one. I also didn't know that they would explode.
prisoner's letter. Dear Mama, I've already written and read this letter before. Wait, this one's lit up, so it's alive. But it didn't wake up even when I sliced it. There's something ahead. Be careful. It's close, but it hasn't seen us. Okay. Is there a way to take care of those without shooting them? I suppose I could throw bricks at them, but there's not that many bricks. And I've got a bit of ammo. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. So here's what I missed. Turn off the power. We gotta go in here. Oh. There's like little footprints it shows when you play as Natalia. Showing you where to go. That's odd. Let's head on back. Now that we've done that, we should be able to enter the main area. Wait, what was that? Oh, it was just to read the book. You gonna wake up now? There we go. What do we do? We could probably get out this way if the path was clear. It's good that there's a chain reaction. We trigger each other. Gotta be something in one of these cells. Aside from zombies. Aha. Notice that these doors up here still haven't opened. I'm sure they will. There we go. Need your help. What Need your help. What the heck is this? And why do we need a small hand? <laughs> All right. Oh, it's close. I guess. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. 
Escape report. Shot and killed subject J038 as he planned to escape. His body was properly disposed of. Usage of cell number one at the second floor entrance is prohibited until the wall can be repaired. Ooh. Cell one, second floor. Weak wall. Yeah, what's that gonna do? Open up all the cells? Yep. It's multiple. Okay, cell number one. Do these actually have numbers? I don't see numbers. Delicious bips. Hmm, this looks... Pro oh, it's a little bit even more obvious than that. I supposed to do there's something ahead be careful am I supposed to throw a brick I uh, don't think that helped oh what just refusing to go down before at least I got my brick back I guess I'll just turn it. I did it. You sure did, honey. This place is seriously messed up. Head for the tower. Alright, well I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return we're gonna head for the tower.